Ratatouille is a great love of mine. I make it at home all the time. Packs a veggie punch, but the best part about this dish is you can chop your veggies all wonky donkey and they still look good in the pan because it all wilts down together. So let's get started. If you are someone who is self-conscious about your chopping techniques, this is the dish for you. But let's get some onion roughly chopped, not very retro style. I've got my preheated pan, big glug of olive oil, and I'm gonna throw in onion and garlic. And we're gonna keep chopping in a haphazard manner because it doesn't matter. It doesn't ma matter how you chop it, it's all still good for you. So onion and garlic are in the pan. Let's give that a little bit of a stir. And whilst that's softening down, we're gonna move to our other veggies. Let's talk about eggplant, a beautiful vegetable that is underutilised and underappreciated, I feel, but, oh, my goodness, easy to grow. And I'll tell you something, if, you, again, you're worried about your chopping technique, this thing will wilt down beautifully and it doesn't actually matter. So go for your life and throw it in everything, bolognese, lasagna sauce, whatever you're making. So eggplant is chopped and zucchini. Now, I don't tend to add capsicum to my ratatouille and that's because my children absolutely love ratatouille and my son is not the hugest fan of capsicum, so I just leave it out for him. But I guess a traditional ratatouille should have some capsicum in there. You could actually probably sneak anything into this thing. Look at this, beautiful zucchini, all these colours, the black, the red, means it's good for your gut health. Zucchini, eggplant, and I'm just going to quarter these, chop them very roughly. I wasn't lying when I said you can chop them however you like. Look at this. All these beautiful veggies. If you're trying to get to the five serves of veggies a day, which we all should be because it's good for your brain, good for your heart disease risk, good for reducing your risk of cancer, excellent for reducing your risk of fatty liver, type 2 diabetes. I could go on and on and on. So I'm going to let this go for a little bit just so my veggies soften slightly and then I'm going to add some tomato. Look at that, all those veggies. Hard to be unhappy when you see that in your pot at home. Let's add some tomato. Lovely. Coat all those veggies in that canned tomato. Wonderful. And I like to add some balsamic vinegar to my ratatouille because it just gives it a little bit of tartness. And my secret weapon, my daughter knows this, lemon juice. So I think it just beautifully breaks up the tomato that's quite heavy in this dish. And we need a really generous amount of basil in here. You can never have too much. If you've got some in your garden, go hard on it. I have got some basil in my garden at the moment. Such a handy herb to have around and through the ratatouille. Gosh, I'm chopping like Richard almost. His spirit has diffused into me. Here we go. Let's stir through the basil. Oh, the basil smells so lovely. All righty, so now we're going to get on to our tapenade. And I've got some lovely marinated vegetables here, some olives, some marinated capsicum. And I use these to introduce some salt to the dish, plus my kids love olives. And I'm just going to roughly chop everything. Here we go. This gives the ratatouille just a little bit of extra saltiness and some extra texture on top. Just going to run my knife through that again. So that tapenade has come together beautifully. And let's have a look at our veggies. Soft, cooked through. Now let's pop this here and spoon our ratatouille onto the plate. Now you can have this with anything you like, but I often have it on its own at home and I have it with some yoghurt. But today, oh, look at that. We've got some crusty bread. The only thing missing is our tapenade that goes on top. And boom, there you have it, a really big veggie hit.